Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a past paper question on integration. So let's take a look at this question. Question number four, figure one shows the finite shaded region R which is bounded by the curve y equals x e to the x, the line x is equal to one, the line x is equal to three and the x-axis. The region R is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis and we need to use integration by parts to find the exact value of the volume of the solids generated. So let's think about this question. Let's get back to the paper and pen. So if you want to work out the volume of solid revolution about the x-axis, the formula is V and that is equal to pi the integration of y squared dx between your limits a and b. Now, if we go back to the question, now we have the limits. The limits are x is equal to one and x is equal to three. These will be the limits of the integral. And we also have the equation of the curve and the equation of the curve in the question is y equals x e to the x. So let's get back to the paper and pen. So let's make a note. The equation of the curve y is x e to the x. And we have our limits. So the limits are x is equal to one and x is equal to three. So let's therefore rewrite uh, this result with this data included. So v will be pi into the integration now the limits are 1 and 3, so let's include these limits. And y is x e to the x. Do not forget to square with respect to x. So if we um, get rid of the brackets, we'll have pi into the integration of between limits 1 and 3. When I square x e to the x, I'll have x squared e to the power 2x with respect to x and if we go back to the question we need to use integration by parts so back to the paper and pen let's use integration by parts now I'm going to do a side calculation and let me ignore the limits let me ignore the pi and let's do a side calculation and let's integrate x squared e to the x let's do this by parts so in this case, I'm going to take u to be x squared and that means dv over dx will be the remaining term, which is e to the power 2x. So if you're unaware of how we integrate by parts, I have created a video on this and I'll provide a link to the video in the description below. I also created a video showing you how to work out the volume of solid revolution and I'll also provide the link to that video in the description below. Let's get back to the question. So when it comes to by parts, we need to work out du over dx and v. So du over dx, so when I differentiate u, derivative of x squared is 2x. V can be found by integrating dv over dx, which is e to the 2x with respect to x. And when I integrate e to the 2x, it's e to the 2x divided by 2. So I have du over dx, I now have v. Now let's use the biparts formula. So here's the biparts formula. So the biparts formula goes like this. The integral of u dv over dx with respect to x is uv minus the integral of v du over dx with respect to x. So that's the biparts formula. Now, let me put the data into the biparts formula. So in this case, we'll have the integral u being x squared, dv over dx, which is e to the 2x. So the left-hand term should correspond to the question. And that is equal to u, u is x squared, multiplied by v, v is e to the power 2x divided by 2, minus, so a minus, integration of v, v is e to the 2x divided by 2, 
multiply by du over dx which is 2x. So this is what we have so far with regard to the side calculation. Now you can cancel the 2 with this 2 here and if we simplify x squared times e to the 2x over 2 let me leave it as x squared e to the 2x divided by 2 minus so a minus the integral of and x which remains here times e to the 2x is x e to the 2x with respect to x so this is what we have for the moment now looking at this integral so I'm going to call this integral this integral here let's name that star to integrate this integral we need to apply by parts again so let's use by parts again to calculate the solution of this integral so let me move forward let's continue the side calculation so over to the reverse side calculation continued so star let's remind ourselves star is the integral of x e to the 2x with respect to x so let's write that down so let's integrate x e to the 2x with respect to x and let's use by parts again by parts I'm going to take u to be x that means dv over dx is e to the 2x and when applying by parts, let's work out du over dx. So the derivative of x, which is 1. V will be the integral of e to the 2x with respect to x. That being e to the 2x divided by 2. So now let's use the by parts formula. So by parts... So remember the by parts formula, the integral of u dv over dx with respect to x, that is uv minus the integral of v du over dx with respect to x. So let's put in the data that we calculated, u, u is x, dv over dx which is e to the 2x. So the left hand side always corresponds to what you're integrating. So that's equal to u, u is x, multiplied by v, v being e to the 2x divided by 2, minus, so minus the integral of v, v is e to the 2x divided by 2, multiplied by du over dx, which is 1. So that is what we have for the moment. Now, let's multiply the brackets. So I advise multiplying the brackets before you do any further integration. So if I multiply the brackets, let's see what we're going to get. x times e to the 2x over 2 is x e to the 2x over 2, minus, so a minus, integration of e to the 2x over 2 times 1 that is e to the 2x divided by 2 so I would advise getting rid of the brackets and then integrate especially this integral later so when we continue we'll have x e to the 2x over 2 the term from here minus and when I integrate e to the 2x over 2, you're, you're going to get e to the 2x divided by the 2 into another 2, which is 4. So let's add a seek for completeness. So this is the solution to this integral, which we named star. And star, if we go back, star is the answer of this integral. So let's incorporate this answer that we have for star in this part of the calculation for the integration of x squared e to the 2x so let's do that so let's continue the side calculation so let's remind ourselves the integration of x squared e to the 2x 
using the by parts first time round. So that is equal to x squared e to the 2x over 2. So let's write that. So integration of x squared e to the 2x with respect to x. So that is x squared e to the 2x divide by 2. Let's go back to remind ourselves minus. So a minus. Let me open up a bracket. So it's minus. Let's open up a bracket and replace our solution for star. And the solution for star is this. So let's replace. So we have minus x e to the 2x over 2. Minus. So minus the e to the 2x over 4. So if we get rid of the brackets, we're going to have overall x squared e to the 2x divided by 2 minus times x e to the 2x over 2 is minus x e to the 2x over 2. Minus times minus is a plus e to the 2x over 4. So let's just add c just for completeness. Now, what is this solution? This is the solution to this integral, and this is the integral without limits. Now, if we go back to the question, so the main part of the question, so we need to work out the volume, and remember, to work out the volume, it's pi into the integral between the limits 1 and 3 of x squared e to the 2x with respect to x. So let's incorporate our solution. And let's use the limits into this solution, not forgetting to multiply by pi later on. So v is equal to pi. Let's open up uh, a square bracket. Let's copy down this solution that we had. So we have x squared e to the 2x divided by 2 minus x, so minus x e to the 2x divide by 2 plus e to the 2x divided by 4. Let's close that square bracket. And let's remind ourselves of the limits again. The limits are 1 and 3. So let's put that to a side. So the limits are 1 and 3. So these are the limits that we have. Those limits come from the question. So now it's a matter of replacing the limits. So let's replace the upper limit in first. Upper limit is 3. So we'll have pi. Let's open up a square bracket. So when I replace the upper limit 3, I'll have 3 squared e to the 2 into 3 divided by 2 minus x, which is 3, e to the 2 into 3 for x divided by 2 plus e to the 2, x replaced by 3, divide by 4. That is what you should have upon replacement of the upper limit, which is 3, minus, and let me continue here, so minus pi, and if we replace the lower limit in now, lower limit being 1, so we're going to have x, which is 1, so 1 squared e to the 2 into x which is 1 divided by 2 minus the 1 for x e to the 2 into the 1 divided by 2 plus e to the 2 into 1 divided by 4. So let's close that square bracket. So that is what you should have upon replacement of the lower limit. The lower limit is 1. So let's tidy this up. So we have pi. So from the first bracket, 3 squared is 9. So we've got 9e. 2 into 3 is 6. Divide by 2. Minus 3e to the power. 2 into 3 is 6. Divide by 2. 
plus e to the 2 into 3 is 6 divided by 4 so that's what you should have from from the first term when you multiply out minus the pi so minus the pi opening another bracket 1 squared which is 1 e to the 2 into 1 which is 2 divided by 2 minus e to the 2 into 1 which is 2 divided by 2 and plus e to the 2 into 1 which is 2 divided by 4 so this is what you should have when you get rid of the brackets from this square bracket, the second square bracket. Now, observing the second square bracket, I can cancel the e squared over two terms, so those two can go. So uh, we're gonna have as a result v, v is pi. Now, from the first bracket, nine over two, minus three over two, plus e to the power 6 over 4 so if you add these like terms together you're going to get 13 over 4 e to the power 6 so this is the result of adding these like terms together so in other words if you take a common denominator of 4 and sum you're going to get this term as a result minus the pi and we only have the e squared over 4 term that remains from this bracket here. So I'm going to take a common factor of, so let's have a look, pi e squared over 4. So pi e squared over 4 is common to both of these terms. And be careful when you factorise. So you should be left with 13 e to the 4 minus 1. So that should be the solution for the volume of solid revolution. So not only that is the solution that ends this question and that also sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.